Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am your host and producer of God's Highways and Hedges. It just gives me a great pleasure as well as a privilege to be here in the studio once again. There's been so much going on in the land all over the world, and it has interfered with the churches. But I believe since God is the one that directs everything, and this is his world, that this is all in his plan. I, I may go a little different from, from what I planned because um, I'm been working with my tires and I'm a little bit farther from the studio than I've uh, been in the past. Okay, um, I look and I listen to all of the ministries, and that's what I love about being an evangelist. I get to see what everyone is talking about, and as God gives me and direct me on his highways and hedges. I would like to send a shout out to Sister Brothers. Uh, she comes on 1480 and she lost her brother uh, on he had a business there on W.W. Um, w. White Road selling cars. Well, God has been really speaking through me um, since he gave the lady, spoke through me and gave the lady a kidney. I was so proud of that because when God tells me something and speak through me, I say, okay, God, I am just listening to you, seeing what you're saying, the directions that you're giving. So I was riding in my car, and the Lord said, just spoke through me, and he said, uh, bad news. And uh, I wondered for a couple of weeks or more, you know, you know, I didn't know whether the bad news was coming to me or what, because we do have bad news all over the world. But when Sister Brothers came on her program uh, every Saturday at 1 o'clock, she started with these words. She said, bad news today, my brother passed away. Oh, I said, that's what God was telling me. That was going to be the bad news. Well, I was in the process of moving uh, for the last two or three months, I, I've had a car full of my things going from one side of town to the other. And I've been riding uh, two U-Hauls and 
everyone has agreed with me that moving is a hard job. Okay, when I was here in the studio last time, there were three things that I had uh, I had made a note, and those three things I left, I did not include them in my program. So as I'm telling you about God speaking to me about the bad news, it, this is what he told me. See, when I leave church and when I'm at home, I have my Bible, I pray, and I just have such a great time communicating with God. So when I come to you, I'm coming to you with uh, God's word expressed. Okay? The, the three words was, show me, teach me, and fix me. That's where I am at the present time uh, in my evangelistical uh, uh, ministry with God giving me directions. And uh, the other thing that God spoke through me was hepatitis. Well, I start wondering, who is it that uh, have hepatitis? So as we all know, at the present time, the news media is full of them talking about hepatitis, and it is affecting the young people, the, the young children. And I said, well, uh, I, I already, uh, God already told me about it, but I just had to wait and see f from which way it was coming. And uh, so, you know, prayer is a form of communicating with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And uh, the other uh, thing that he spoke through me, <laughs> I'm going to have to pull that up and Oh, oh, uh, he said that he was going to fix things. So there are a lot of things in this world that need fixing. And also, he spoke through me and said, and I did include this in my uh, program when I was here last at the studio, Whoever have in mind of bothering America, God said, put it in the air and tell them to leave America alone. Well, that's God's word. There are a lot of words. People speak... Uh, this power speaks, the other power speaks, but there is no power like our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Everything is going to be fixed just exactly the way that God wants things to be. For we read in the Bible that uh, near the end, things were going to be, near the end of the world, things were going to be peerless. And with the COVID-19, uh, 
and the loss of so many lives. And then we have to be concerned, uh, the world, all over the world, the United States and other nations are worried about the vaccine, getting the vaccine, because millions of lives uh, have, have been lost. Okay? And so, I mean, even so much so until they had to close the churches and it's everything is different. Nothing is like as we would call normal. And well, as the song say, if we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. Well, when God called me in and what he t told me to do, I was with my mother in six o'clock prayer service years ago, and God knocked my shoes off of my feet, and I was seemingly going like 20 miles an hour. He took me from my seat up on the rostrum, put me behind the pulpit and he said he spoke to me through me and he said heal the souls and I've never forgot it uh, you may see me you wonder what do I do uh, do I have hobbies or uh, you know what about evangelist Irma Wilson in church well <laughs> What I do, I go out into God's highways, byways, and I make the altar call to people uh, that may never go to church. No one may never tell them about God, but I find it a great pleasure in telling people about the great supreme sacrifice that God made for the salvation of our souls, for the healing of our souls. And then after he told me to heal the souls, he sat me down in the chair. I'll say the, the preacher's chair, the minister's chair, and then he took me back up behind the pulpit and asked me, was there any doubt? Well, I've been out here a long time and I have never forgot what God told me to do that day. My mother was there and witnessed the whole thing. She's there in heaven with Jesus Christ right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. So this is what uh, I want to say. Jesus Christ has showed us the uh, COVID-19 the loss of lives, uh, the uh, invasion of Ukraine, the loss of life there, and it's just all going to go the way that our God want things to go. See, I have heard so many ministers say for years we've been having church, but we have not paid 
God's word any attention to really what he wants done. What God wants is souls saved. Well, with all of these things happening, and we we have not experienced this before, the COVID, well, there have been other viruses, but we haven't experienced this COVID-19. And uh, I, I've i had both of my shots and the booster shot. But I did not take the shots because I've been sick enough to have left this earth two or three times. But you'd be surprised when you take your time with Jesus Christ. He works miracles, mega miracles. I've seen them. I've experienced them myself. And I can tell you, God is real. God has the power. Oh, hallelujah. The only power, as uh, I did a show here, with uh, the minister that was with me sometimes, um, and uh, when the two Marys, two sisters, brother was sick, and they sent word to Jesus Christ and said, come, my brother's sick, because they were all very good friends. But Jesus' decision was not to come. His decision was, he said, mm, I'm going to just wait a couple of days. Say, because this sickness is for my glory, unto my glory. So when they saw Jesus coming up the road, they said, well, uh, he, the, Jesus is our best friend, but we're going to give him a piece of our mind. He said, well, you, you, you waited too late. He's dead. We thought you were coming right away. But you see, what we think God is going to do, his ways are different from ours all the way from the earth to the heavens. But as people, as they continue to read what Peter, James, and John did. But when I brought to you the last time, the 53rd chapter of Isaiah, God wants to be praised. Hallelujah. He told Mary, says, this sickness was for my glory, for God to get the glory. Hallelujah. 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 So, well, God, we know that in the end, you're going to resurrect everybody from the grave. God says, I am the resurrection. I am he. I am and Jesus Christ, how come I shanda? Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. And so Jesus said, "Well, he called Lazarus, and I got I <laughs> had great pleasure in in my show because uh, it it said." that Jesus moaned, Oh, Lazarus! And when Jesus groaned, something is fixing to happen. And it did, because Lazarus shook off 
those grave clothes and the power of God with all the deaths as Mary said we know that at the end time that you're going to bring everybody forth from the grave praise God so as we're looking at persons that's dying from the COVID-19, we're looking at the war, the old men, old women, the babies, the children. Hallelujah. We talk about faith, faith, faith. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ. Don't you know all God has to do is tell each and every one of them to rise up. Hallelujah. So we don't have to really worry about people that are sleeping and and, and because when Jesus Christ get ready, they're going to all come back. The millions the trillions they're coming back Jesus Christ when he said get up he had to call Lazarus name because he had not called his name <laughs> everybody would have got up hallelujah but this is what I'm thinking Isaiah 55 8 God's ways are not our ways his ways are so different from ours, all the way from the earth to the heavens. So when we are reading the word of God and we see what he did with all of his servants, we must be still and wait and see what he's going to do in our situations, in our circumstances. Praise God. Now, <laughs> when you have faith in God, he'll tell you just exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it if you let him know, well, God, I know this situation is difficult. I don't know what I am going to do. I don't know what they are going to do. But I want to tell you from God's highways and hedges, God's evangelism, that God is going to do it his way and his being a sovereign God he can do anything anytime he want to do it the way that he want to do it whether we uh, agree with his way or not just like he showed Mary at that particular time Lazarus came forth hallelujah hallelujah and when it comes to war and people taking lives, why would you want to take somebody's life and you can't give life? God is the only one, the most precious, miraculous thing that has ever been done is for God to create each and every individual. We are blessed. Hallelujah. He give us activity of our limbs. He has provided everything that a human being needs. And I get excited every time I get a good, nice, cool drink of water. Who is it that makes the water? And I remember 
when the COVID-19 uh, started and the grocery stores shelves became empty and uh, you couldn't uh, uh, <laughs> the eggs they were just flying out of the stores and I said but who is it can make an egg God has to make the chicken so we can have eggs and the poor pig, hog, <laughs> eggs and bacon, the, the hog really have to suffer. All the chicken have to do is just lay the egg and, and still live. But, the, but it's, the hog is not quite as fortunate as the chicken. But it's nothing any better than eggs and bacon for your breakfast in the morning. Nothing like a good drink of water. And most of things in this life is water-based. Mm -hmm.